Hey what is up guys and welcome to a new Kev5 tutorial. Today we are going to be covering an amazing plugin called VoteGUI. What does VoteGUI do? It allows you to set up basically this. Let me type slash vote and as you will see here five voting sites appear. Uh, what are these? Well when you click them uh, in chat will appear a vote link. If you click that link it will take you to the voting website. Yes, this is a Vote GUI plugin. I thought it was pretty unique, pretty fun, and uh, so that's why I'm doing a tutorial on it. So here's the plugins page. Uh, the plugin itself is fairly simplistic, very easy to set up, and I will show you that. Now, of course, the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need Votifier and GA Listener, and you're going to need to set up Votifier. Uh, you don't have to use GA Listener. You can use any server server reward listener. However, I prefer GA Listener. It's just simple and super easy to use. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to sync this command right here into GA Listener. You're going to want it to do a slash voted name and service. So as you can see here, I've already done that. So whenever a player votes, uh, in my case, uh, this is just how I set up GA Listener, it will give them a vote key, five token enchantment uh, tokens, and then it will give the it will run the slash voted command. What does a slash voted command do? Uh, as you can see when you type slash vote, these will come up as emerald blocks. Once you have voted, these will appear as redstone blocks, meaning that you've already voted and you must wait X amount of time for it to appear again. So let's just open this up real quick and vote, because why not? So let, let's make sure I don't mess up this catchpa already. Guild and Kevin 25 and vote. Uh, now, as you can see here, it will say I voted. Uh, if I do slash vote, it now appears as a redstone block and it tells me how many hours are left until I can vote again. Uh, again, it's very easy, simple plugin, yet it's much more interactive than typing slash vote and getting a just a big list of servers to vote for. Uh, this is so much easier, in my opinion. Uh, I know this was a very simple and short tutorial. I have a new tutorial lined up next uh, Wednesday, which will include a custom help menu, which you can set up uh, just like this. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and as always, have a wonderful day.